Hello everybody, it's Dan the Game Changer. Today we will be painting. Um, I want to tell you a little fact about myself. I am an incredibly good painter. In fact, the greatest painter of all time, to be exact. My father was Picasso and my mother was Van Gogh. And they created a prodigy of art. Someone whose talent is undeniable when you see it. And today I'm going to give you a glimpse of my just mind-boggling talent when it comes to art. Alright, let's get into it. I also want to um, tell you some facts. I painted the Mona Lisa um, back when I was one. I also painted the, the Starry Night when I was only two. My catalogue of art is, is unbelievable. I have created some masterpieces and today it will be no different. I will show you just how good I am when it comes to the art. But first we're going to change our our brush. We're going to get a bigger brush because this is going to be an easy project but we're going to we're going to use something a little bit easier. Right. Let's get into it. We're going to first of all paint this entire canvas black. For this art, I take inspiration off um, uh, of uh, something I saw while walking on the street in Italy yesterday. It was just a bunch of lines, and it deeply affected, it deeply and emotionally affected me. I it made me think of the beauty of just scribble. Just look at that. Doesn't that make you? Doesn't that make you tear up a little bit? Oh, just just wonderful. Right, and now we are going to grab some pink and we are going to draw uh, we are going to draw a uh, sun yes pink sun there you go nice sun there uh, and actually no that, that 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 it's not a sun it's a person that's a little nose there that's the eyebrow that's the mouth that's the head which is missing a piece but well, it's all right. You know what they're saying. You know what they're saying, painting, don't you? We all, we don't have accents. We make happy accents, or something like that. Something along that line. I invented that as well. I invented that quote. It's mine now. Right. We're gonna give it a little body. This little person a body. Right. Give him some arms. A little pee pee. There you go. Give him some eyes. A little, a little mouth there. I'm going to give him a little brain here. His brain's sticking out. Don't ask why. And uh, to finish it off, we are going to have him pain. There you go. And now we are going to sign this masterpiece. Go do it in the top corner here. There you go. It is done. This is a masterpiece. This is one of the greatest works I've ever done, even better than the Mona Lisa. It is unbelievable. Let's do another. Uh, today, uh, for the next painting, for today, we are going to paint. Oh, also, I want to mention these paintings here were done by some stranger who's never painted before and so that explains why the paint is so bad and amateurish whereas mine is talented the strokes the colors the message the meaning the the overall everything about it is is something that more is something that no human besides myself can do can pull off with paint whereas yeah you could you see it's a bit of shit 
Um, also, another fact I wanted to tell about myself, I'm, I actually come from French. Not French, I come from France. And so that's why I speak French. But, but I don't show it because I have this impression that I do for all my stuff, which is English. I fake an English impression when I'm not really English. I'm actually France. I come from France, so I'm French. Uh, looking good. Hmm, let's draw a person. Give him some eyes. Body. Uh, what should we do? Hmm, I know, I already know what he's going to do. I'm just thinking of, I'm just thinking of what I'm going to eat for breakfast. He's going to be smoking a cigarette. Big cigarette. There you go. We got a man smoking a cigarette behind bars because he went to prison for killing someone. And then we got a man who is missing half his head with his brain exposed, pissing while falling through a hole of scribble. This is this is the this is the meaning of art. It is pure beauty. <laughs> right. This is annoying me right now. We have to get this shit off here. This, it, it, it's making my, it's hurting me. It's making my eyes hurt. Just from the ugliness and the, just the, the shit talent I see among my eyes. It's making my brain hurt. This is what you don't want to see. I have practiced and trained many students over my lifetime. None of them as good as me, of course. They can't ever perfect the talent, the flaw how the fluidity of pain should be. They will never be as good as me, but I, I train people regardless, but still, they will never be able to pull off works such as this. Right, let's do some mopping. Let me show off my superb talent even more. Uh, for our next painting, we are going to paint... Ah, I know what we're going to paint. I'm going to paint something we can all sort of relate to. And that is... There we go. If you don't know what this is, this is a man's brain exploding. We've all seen that once in our lifetime. I see it every day. I, uh, I, I just see people's heads exploding on the street. I don't know why, but it happens. And I always think, ah, what a nice sight. This is, this is what I, this is what I see every day. Every time I open my window, I see a man just head explode, basically. And it's sort of like seeing the sunset. It just makes you feel warm and sad. Um, and then we're going to have him wearing a robe. There you go. Do a little sign there in the corner. There you go. Boom. Masterpiece. And then we are going to paint for our last painting. Something which is revolutionary, which has never been done. Done. It is maybe 
more beautiful than all these. Just, uh, just the perfectness of the square. It's, it's beautiful. All right, that's been Dasko, and these have been my pins, and seen a bit.